Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video, pause it and try this problem on your own. Okay, so let's read the problem. I always start there. John has four more nickels than dimes in his pocket. So he's got coins in his pocket and he's got nickels and dimes. And there's more nickels than dimes at any given time. That's important. Four more to be precise. Always four more. And the total is $1.25. Which equation could be used to determine the number of dimes x in his pocket? Um, so here, if you look at our four equations, three and four are very similar, so one or two. If you look at three and four, look at the way they notate uh, 4x and x, right? That's the similarity there. What's different about them is the location of 0.10, the value of a dime, and 0.05, the value of a nickel, right? Um, so before we get into whether or not uh, everything's equation is correct, I would look at the way they use the variables here, because that gives away that both three and four cannot be correct. Here's what I mean. If we plug in, let's say, x is 2, right? What does 4x equal, right? Because they're saying it's 4 more than x, right? But 4 times, 4x means 4 times x. So if x is 2, 4x is 4 times 2. It's 8. So what does this tell you? This tells you that if x is the number of uh, dimes, right? This is the number of dimes. Um, what would 8 represent if we use this approach? That would be the number of nickels. Because remember, there are always more nickels uh, than dimes. So if there are two dimes, there have to be more nickels. But the problem is, if you have 8 nickels and 2 dimes, you have 6 more nickels than dimes. But in this problem, there should be 4 more nickels. So this problem cannot be modeled by either equations 3 or 4. So now it becomes um, a matter of using equations 1 or 2. And here, you've got to think about the location of the dime value, 0.1, and the nickel, 0.05. What should there be more of? Well, there should be more nickels than dimes. So here, we can reject choice 1. Because, let's say we have x is equal to 2 again. Right? So that would mean, if you look at 0.05 times 2, that would basically say you have 10 cents because 0.05 is the value of a nickel, and 2 represents the nickels. In this case, it represents nickels because 0.05 is paired with the x, right? So if we plug in 2 for x, we get 10 cents right here, 0.05 times 2. But if I plug in 2 here, 2 plus 4 is 6 times 10 cents per dime. That means we have 60 cents in dimes, so we have 4 more dimes six times to be precise, then nickels. That's not what we need. We need choice two here. And just to verify, if we have two for x, now what does x represent? Well, because x is being multiplied by 0.1, the value of a dime, now in this equation, x represents the value of a dime. So we have two dimes, or 20 cents, and two plus four, right, or six nickels. So six nickels and two dimes, that's four more nickels than dime. And if you don't, if this approach, like if you're encountering a uh, difficulty in this kind of problem, you could actually proceed by solving for x. And you would see that this is the only equation that gives you a value that works. So if you're not able to make sense of it, you can actually try solve for x to see what works. And in this case, uh, choice two is the only one that would work. All right, thanks.